Okay, I just came from Muji and their acrylic drawers are 15% off right now until like June 5th So if you are interested, check it out Okay, we are at the Eaton Center today and we're having lunch We got some food from this Korean barbecue place in the food court After this, we are gonna go to um, that, that eyewear place that I want to check out It's on the main level, kind of by roots, I think We just left the Eaton Center and we are heading to Ikea because I want to pick up a couple of these Algot shelves for this fixture that I have in the uh, bathroom. I want I didn't realize you could get shelves for it um, and I, right now I just have baskets. I'll show you guys later what I'm talking about so it puts it into context but I want to get some shelves and then we're gonna head home. Actually we're going to my parents house for dinner tonight. My dad's apparently making a jerky for whatever reason so we have that to look forward to later. We're still heading to Ikea. We have to take side roads to get there because the gardener is actually closed this weekend for, oh, that's a nice house. What is it for? Why is the gardener closed today? Uh, ride for Heart. Ride for Heart. Um, so we have to find another route because I think the DVP and the gardener is like all closed, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know for how long, but it just said on Google Maps that it was closed. So we are taking like a whole bunch of side roads to get to um, Ikea and we're just passing through like a neighborhood of homes. Waze, we're using the Waze app, um, and Waze is such an weird, it's a weird app. Um, not weird, but it creates the most, well, the most efficient route, but it doesn't use the mainstream streets, or, so it usually uses like side roads and side streets, so it's a very effective, it just takes you kind of, it feels like on a wild goose chase, but you get to your destination eventually. Let me tell you guys about my experience at, um, look really quickly. I didn't take any footage while I was in there. I was busy trying on some glasses, but I did take a few um, videos on my phone, so I'll insert those. So the idea of Bon Look is that they are, um, they cut the middleman out. So they manufacture their own frames, they put together their own lenses, and that's why they can offer such good deals. So um, the starting price is $135. Also, they have promos. So last week, I think they had a promo where if you bought one, you could get one 50% off. This week, they have a promo where it is um, $20 off uh, round frames. So the frame that I happened to pick up was a round frame, so I got $20 off. It was with the tinted lenses, because I got them for sunglasses. It was um, $155, and then minus $20, so it turned out to be $135, no tax, so I just paid straight $135. And also, if your um, insurance, work insurance covers that, you can get all of that money back. So it's actually a really great deal. And I really like the frames that I got. Um, there are a plastic frame, there's like a black frame with um, a gold accents on it. And I don't know, I'm excited about it. You can have them shipped to the store, and then once they get shipped, you go and they'll, um, Kind of fit them on you or you can have them shipped to your home address depending on where you are i think if you're kind of in ontario or maybe in canada they'll ship it for free as long as it's over a certain price and i just went with that i have it have, i've had it shipped to my home and then if i need it adjusted or for anything i'll just come back i just thought it'd be a little bit easier and then i can get that instant satisfaction of having it like delivered to my home they said it would take about 10 to 15 business days okay we're in ikea now it's incredible busy so we're gonna try to be in and out very quickly I'm really loving my new Manfrotto tripod is actually quite handy and really sturdy so I thought I'd show you guys quickly um, before the bone and I leave to go to my parents house what I got from Muji and also the bits and bobs I got from Ikea so from Ikea I basically got these two shelves that I'm going to install in my bathroom which I'll do tonight when I get home I also got a couple of LED light bulbs to go in my Himalayan salt lamp because it uses these E12 halogen bulbs and I'm not about that basically every 
light bulb that we have in our house is LED. I didn't want to ruin that trend, so we picked up some light bulbs from Ikea. At Muji, I picked up an acrylic drawer. It is actually a bottle stand. It's like a three-tier bottle stand, apparently, but I'm actually using it for a sunglass and eyeglass storage. So I'll show you what that looks like. I actually really like the look of it. Okay, we're home now and I am going to replace the bulb in my Himalayan salt lamp. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with the Himalayan salt lamp. It is uh, very popular these days. It's supposed to be really good for air purifying and I don't know, it's supposed to have a lot of benefits. So I jumped on the bandwagon and I picked one up. I'm actually gonna get another one to put in my beauty room, but the one that I did pick up, I have in the living room. I turned on a few more lights, so hopefully this is a little bit more well lit. Um, but this is what my salt lamp looks like. So this was about $23.99 at HomeSense. They come in uh, different weights. I don't know how much this one weighs, but it's definitely not light. It uses a special bulb. It uses the E12 bulb. And one, like I said, came with it, but it is just this um, halogen or incandescent bulb, so it's not great. Yeah, the bookshelf is still not quite done, but I finally put the photos in these frames, so there's a plus. I'm still gonna add a few little trinkets on them, but this is the Himalayan salt lamp, and I'll turn it on so you guys can see how it looks. So it's actually quite nice. I like the ambiance, the lighting that it gives. This doesn't really do it justice, but it's actually really pretty to look at. Okay, this is the acrylic, I wouldn't call it a drawer, but it's a three tier, it's supposed to be for mini bottles, but I use it for my sunglasses and some other eyeglasses that I have here. I just put these little two things here just because I'm not sure what to put on top, but I could actually put another pair of um, glasses there, I guess. Um, but I just thought it looked really cute. Um, as you can see, it's slanted, so they display um, eyewear beautifully. I'm home from work and it is Monday today and I was especially feeling the Monday blues today. I think it's because of the weather and also because I didn't sleep very well last night. So I was, wasn't sleepy throughout the day, but I was just a little bit more tired than usual for a Monday. And yeah, the weather is really awful today. It's so gray and cool. It's definitely not June weather. I am going to make myself some dinner and I am having dinner by myself today because the boat is um, doing something after work so he's not going to be home till later and I don't really want to wait for him. I don't know what we have because we actually didn't go grocery shopping on the weekend so I'm going to have to scrounge something up. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this but at work we have a cafeteria so I haven't had to make a lunch in four years. <laughs> So I was just thinking that I don't even know what I would do if I had to make lunches again and think about what I was gonna have for dinner. Thinking of meals is just, I wouldn't say it's stressful, but sometimes you just get so busy and you're so tired after work that you just cannot be bothered making dinner. But then if you didn't, what would you eat? I was not a huge fan of my makeup look today, so I just quickly um, took it off with some micellar solution. I used the Face Shop BB cushion, but I found that it got really um, dry and patchy and kind of broke up a little bit in the center of my face. So I don't know, I didn't do anything different with my skincare routine. The only other thing I could think of was maybe I wasn't hydrated enough because I only drank one full bottle of water today. I normally try to drink two or three. Um, but yeah, it just like looked really awful in like the center of my face. And naturally I didn't look at myself until closer to the end of the day. But is Monday today and surprisingly a lot of people were out of the office. So I maybe talked to like one other person the whole day. So it was okay, not a lot of people saw me. Good morning, it is Wednesday. I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday. I'm just getting ready for work right now and lately I've been doing kind of like this no makeup makeup look. Um, although I have been using the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I also have to say that I am really liking the bangs. I think my lifestyle, my current lifestyle is um, complimenting the bangs because my issue with bangs before is that my hair gets really um, oily and greasy and so I would always have to wash my hair and um, it wasn't part of my routine to do so. I would only wash my hair every two, three days. However, 
I go to the gym every morning. Well, not every morning, but at least five times a week in the mornings. So um, usually on the weekday when I have to go to work and I go before I go to work. So I have to wash my hair. Otherwise, I will look like a stinky, greasy mess. So having the bangs actually is really working for my lifestyle because I don't have to make a point to wash my hair or wash my bangs because it's already part of my routine. So I'm really liking the bangs so far. It is so nice out right now. My car says it's 29 outside. So I kind of feel like a dinkus for wearing a <laughs> cable knit sweater. But it was chilly this morning, so that's why I was wearing a sweater. I think I need to get my bangs trimmed because they are a little bit long. I don't know. I'm always really wary about trimming my bangs. Obviously myself. I would never do that. I did that once and it was brutal. It was the worst mistake I ever made. Um, but I'm always wary about trim having them trimmed because they can go very badly if they're too short. It is Thursday evening now and I don't remember if I vlogged earlier, but we are heading... Happy Friday! I haven't vlogged since yesterday. I meant to vlog last night, but as you guys may have noticed, my camera died. So I don't uh, know where I was going with that vlog, but I feel like I was just going to tell you guys that we were going to Smash Alley for dinner and that's what we had for dinner. Let's do a quick outfit for today. This is what I wore. This camisole is from Uniqlo. Pants are from Zara. So when I was at work, oh, I'm also wearing these shoes. And uh, while I was at work, I had a navy blazer on um, or like this cream colored cardigan. I quite like these camisoles and I would definitely purchase more of them. Um, they just tuck a little weird in pants for some reason. I don't know. I think this is an extra small, but it's um, naturally a little bit more loose. So I feel like it looks better with pants if it's flowy and in a skirt it looks really good tucked. This is how the outfit looks like with the blazer. So it's just a coordinating navy blazer, also from Zara. This is what it looks like with the cardigan. So I chose the cream colored cardigan, also from Zara, um, because it looks a little bit nicer with the colorway. So with the blazer is obviously a little bit more formal. Um, without the blazer, more casual. So um, while I was just in my office, I had the cardigan on because it's quite chilly. And then when I was in meetings, I had the blazer on. Good morning, happy Saturday. I look like a sweaty, greasy mess because I just finished washing my car. I wash my car. I try to do it at least every weekend. I don't know if that's excessive or not, but I just hate um, getting into a dirty car, especially in the winter time, mainly because I'm short and I drive an SUV or a compact SUV. So more often than not, whenever I get in and out of the car, my leg always grazes the side like the bottom half of my car so i always get like my pant legs dirty or i always get sunscreen smudges on my car and i don't like that i feel like i do that with any every car that i get in and out of so it's probably me there's probably a more correct way to get in and out of a vehicle to not do that and so that's what i did today um the beau is doing something this morning so he's not around, so it's just me, and it's almost lunchtime, and I think I might go out for lunch. I kind of want to sit on a patio somewhere, but I am not sure where. I also say that I want to sit on a patio, but I also don't want to be in direct sunlight, so... <laughs> I love the summer weather. I don't like it when it's too humid, but I love when it's warm. I love when it's sunny, but I don't like to be under the sun anymore. I used to love it when I was younger. Also, what I'm about to tell you next is probably going to make some of you cringe, but when I was younger, I used to use that, um, I think it's banana boat. It's the oil that uh, you could put on your skin to get more of an even tan, I guess. It had like an SPF of 4 or 15, but really it was just this almost kind of like a tanning oil solution. I don't know, but I used that on my skin. And you guys, can see my skin. I am already have a natural tan going on. I don't know what I was thinking. There's some photos of me. Even if you look back to some of my older videos, some of my videos, my skin was very dark because I was just always in the sun. I just 
It was always in the sun. My body for sure was always like five shades deeper than I would normally be because I was always out in the sun. I'd be like in a swimsuit, sunbathing. Okay, it is Saturday night now and I didn't vlog at all today, which um, was kind of bad on me because I meant to, I just didn't get a chance to. I forgot to pull up the camera. Um, it was just a day of errands and I know I look pretty much exactly the same as I did this morning, like sweaty and greasy, but I swear I took a shower and I swear I got ready this morning and I actually did something that was productive, but I just did some errands. Um, the and I went grocery shopping, uh, we went for a bike ride, um, I just tidied up a little bit because um, my beauty room was getting a little bit messy. I moved around some of my furniture in there and now it is nighttime so I'm gonna do my nighttime routine. For whatever reason I wore makeup today and I'm not quite sure why because I wasn't really doing anything exciting but I haven't worn eyeshadow in a while ever since I got bangs and I just wanted to um put on some eyeshadow. I definitely need to get my bangs trimmed though because they're so long. I think when I get them trimmed, I'm gonna get them a little bit shorter, but I'm just nervous about, I think I've expressed this before, but I'm just nervous about getting it too short because I don't want um, uber short bangs. Because as soon as you don't like your bangs, you don't like how they're styled, if they're too short, so as long as you're unhappy with them, that's when they will take forever to grow out. Okay, I'm gonna close off the Saturday night by binge watching some more Orange is the New Black. Have you guys caught up to the latest season? I think, what is it, season five now? Um, it just launched on June 9th. I'm not gonna give you any spoilers if you haven't seen it yet, but um, I'm halfway through the 13 episode season and I am into it. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone if you haven't seen season 5 or if you haven't seen Orange is the New Black at all, but um, I do like where the season is going so far. I've only finished half of the fifth season. There's only 30, 13 episodes a season, I think, and um, I'm liking it. It's a, a little bit of a different spin, it's something new, it's a new storyline that they're kind of branching on to, so I am enjoying it so far, I haven't finished it yet, so we'll have to see kind of what kind of cliffhanger they leave us with. Anyway, I'm going to bid you guys a good night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!